battle rap is uh, uh. I am a beast. You only pull the trigger when you eye in your sheets. At the last event, I seen a knife to your throat. It's just a war of words. Boxing is hip hop. We will make you break for the part like shards of glass. The cleverest way of saying the stupidest things. Somebody hold me back! No chiropractor! It's an organised argument which is timed and it usually rhymes. To be honest, I don't know anything about the battle rap scene in Australia. I think I need to watch a bit more battle rapping from Australia still. It seems like there's a couple of leagues out there that, you know, probably, you know, they're good, good, good for Australia. Either Got Beef or... I can't remember the name of the other one out there. Is it, is it Ozone or... Oh, that's Norway or something, but... I had no idea about Australian battle rap. I mean, I'd seen Eight Miles, so I knew battle rap existed. But then someone turned me on to Australian battle rap and on the surface it seemed the same. But when I delved a little bit deeper, it was completely different. Take Manazil, for example. He's a blind rapper who had a degenerative eye condition and he keeps all his lyrics in his head. I guess it's sort of, you know, um, payback for, for being bullied a bit as a kid and it's my way of, I guess, sort of, yeah, like I said, even in the odds, really. Then you've got people like the kid. He was a real estate entrepreneur at 25. I was really set in my career and financially, but I had a quarter life crisis and uh, much to everybody's disgust or surprise, I actually sold my partnership, threw away the suit and picked up the mic, um, which was a massive, massively hard decision for me to make in life, but it was 100% uh, the right one. I'm a lot happier now, even though I'm a lot poorer. Um, this is the story of Australian battle rap. You've got people with law degrees, speech impediments and neck tattoos all competing side by side. We've got to know these rappers through email, Skype, Facebook and videos they've recorded for us. And speaking to the rappers, the story of Australian battle rap is actually a lot more confused and conflicted than I first thought. Really just the lack of unity is the worst influence on the battle rap scene in Australia. It's like an like a unhealthy competition. There's people out for themselves. There's um, you know, people wanting money and there's really no money or anything. Um, I think I've been sort of... Uh, relegated to, you know, uh, to being on the defensive a bit with my vision impairment. So I think, um, you know, I've, I've had to spend a lot of time in my battles defending that. I'm going toe to toe with a cripple. This shit is embarrassing. I gave you permission to battle me. That's me giving a charity. The hate that I received when I stepped into it, most people wouldn't have come back after the second battle. There's so many different sides to these issues. And they're bigger than just battle rap. They're about society. So is it okay to be racist in a battle rap? Does anything go? If it's you know a different gender, if it's a different race, anything, I'm going to use it. Like you know, there, um, my wife, who's Japanese, used to come to the shows all the time. I still does occasionally. Any battle I'm in, there's the odd mention of it here and there by different people, but she doesn't take it seriously, and neither do I. So I don't think anyone else should. This is a documentary about getting to know the rappers and their diverse lives, as well as finding out answers to these difficult questions, as well as meeting rappers all across Australia. We will follow Manners and The Kid, these unlikely rappers, as they travel to the USA, the home of battle rap, to take on the Americans. We've already raised some of the budget independently, but with the money that we raise on Kickstarter, with your help, we'll go to covering more of the costs of the documentary. This includes production in Australia, post-production, and delivery of the final film. We've become experts in making documentaries on a low budget. Our previous documentary was made on a similar budget, and we were lucky enough to have this broadcast on TV channels across the world this year. I do feel like I'm going to collapse if I, don't, if I don't stop. You can't go any further, don't. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make that at all. I really didn't. Big up Battle Boys. Make sure if you want to see this documentary, you go to the Kickstarter and donate whatever you can. Please support and share the Kickstarter fund to help this get going properly. Follow, support, share, like, get behind the Kickstarter campaign. Subscribe to their channel, like all their pages and support the movement. That's it. Right. Battle rap, bitch.